Number five. Psalms 23 and 91 talk about the protection we have in God. In Psalms 91 it says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. These are important psalms to memorize because it tells us that the Lord will be with us in times of trouble. If you were in a situation where a demon was hurting someone, one might naturally want to hit them or grab them or try to do something to protect yourself. But the only way you can really stop a demonic attack is by your words. Again, words. You should say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. You might have to say it three, four times to be effective. But don't give up. So far, we have rebuked the demon. Now you have to tell the demon what you want it to do. You might say, I give you total lack of recall of why you are here and I'm sending you back to hell where you belong. Your assignment, which you can't remember, is canceled. We can rebuke a demon, but that is only telling the demon we're disgusted with him. We must always add what we want in addition to rebuking the demon. Like, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I want you to go to hell right now. You're to stop talking and you're to come out of this person immediately in the name of Jesus. Sometimes you have to figure out how a de demonic uh, present has a hold on a person to be effective. So sometimes you have to talk to a person to find out what the problem is. Okay, demons hate the name of Jesus. It is the name of authority that will send them away. If ever faced with a demon or demon-possessed person, one must use spiritual warfare to get the enemy to leave. Praising Jesus and speaking your love for him will thwart, thwart off demonic attacks as well. They hate the name of Jesus and someone praising our Lord. Even though Satan is powerful, God is far more powerful. Never forget that. Let's say that we have the same situation, but you cannot speak because, hey, you're in a dream. In this case, you should think in your mind, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you. I cancel your assignment and I throw you to hell where you will stay. Keep doing that in your mind until the demon leaves you alone. Fighting demonic forces in the spirit is done very differently than fighting a person in the flesh. I always put on my armor, Ephesians 6, by saying it out loud before going into battle. I will start my day with putting on my battle gear, just in case I get pulled into some kind of a fight that a demon or a friend or a enemy wants to start with me, so that I'll already be protected. A while back, I had helped someone trying to get rid of uh, lust demons. And um, this person, after I had released them from the demon of lust, uh, he was okay, but I was attacked by demons four different times during that uh, week because I had not put on my battle gear beforehand. And I learned that putting on your battle uh, gear before fighting demons are really important because what they did is they attacked me with severe headaches four different times during that week. Anyhow, why they attack you is because you have evicted them from their home, which was in the the soul of another person and they are not happy they're out there and now they're roaming around without a home and they don't like it at all so this is what you have to do have you ever said there must be something in the air today everyone is just attacking me for no reason these are demonic forces that are causing you problems but because you can't see them one might not understand they are from the enemy Believe me, they are real and they're not your friends. Our job is to speak the word. Whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven.
The same is true of binding. When we speak the commands, then what happens is the angels will, will perform what we are commanding. It's almost like we have two fights going on. One fight is in the heavens and the other fight is on earth. So as we speak how we want to fight the demon attacking us, another fight is happening in the heavens with the angels. Uh, and these are being controlled by our words almost like a remote controlled entity. We are lucky to have our angels fighting for us. This is basically how spiritual warfare is conducted. Number seven, make sure you have said out loud, I believe Jesus, you came to earth as a man. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. And I believe you rose again on the third day. Never deny knowing Jesus as your Lord and Savior. This way he will never deny you to his Father in heaven on Judgment Day. Ask for forgiveness on your knees for your sins and follow God's commandments and rules. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Call it out in faith and the demons will flee from you.